welcome to our virtual tour. Today, we are going to invite you and take you all to a tour to Honolulu Zoo. And if everybody's ready, I would like to call in our guide for today, Captain Albert. Hello! This is your Captain Albert speaking. Today, I'm going to be your guide to take you to Honolulu Zoo where we are going to meet all the wonderful animals endemic from different parts of the world. If everybody's ready, let us start! From this area here, you can see the American Flamingos. American Flamingos are large birds that averages 5 feet in height and weighs about 18 pounds. This bird has a distinctive color of pink or orange on their ski or on their feathers. These birds can be found in the marsh area and lakeside of Florida. Although they are from Florida, they are non-native birds of America. Most of them come from the Caribbean and Mexico where they only come to Florida to nest. This bird has a curved beak which it used to wade on water. It feeds on algae and crustaceans. The algae that it eats usually are dangerous to other animals but these are their basic diet. And this, as a trivia, is the same source that gives them the pink color, which calls the pigmentation. When they are born, they are born white with a straight beak. And as they grow, their beak starts to curve, which they use for wading in the water. And they, they get their color from eating the algae, which gives them the pink color on their skin. The next one here, is the white-handed gibbon. It belongs to the primate family. There are two kinds of classification in this family, the ape and the monkeys. The difference between the ape and the monkeys, the ape doesn't have the tail. The monkeys have the tail. Uh, the white-handed gibbon are distinctive with their long arms, which they are also called the spider monkeys because that's what they use for swinging. The next one, Right here, this little guy is the ring-tailed lemur. It looks like a raccoon, but it is not. The <laughs> ring-tailed lemur are endemic in Madagascar. There are a few kinds of species that come from the lemur family, but this is distinctive because of the black and white ring on their tail that makes them look like a raccoon. The next one is called the walking tree. It is called the walking tree because of the roots that sticking out of the body. That makes it look like a leg and makes it look like it's walking, especially during the windy season. The next one is the yellow spotted Amazon turtle. It is an aquatic turtle that lives in water and feeds on fish and plant material. The next one is this guy over here. It is called the river terrapin. It is a little bit bigger than the yellow sided turtle, but it lives in the water as well and it feeds on fish and aquatic plants and tadpoles. The next one is, the Sinyang monkey is part of the Gibbon family. It's also an ape. It has a long arm. The distinctive feature of the Sinyang monkey is the large pouch on its throat, which gives them the howling sound. They do the howling in the morning from 8 in the morning up to 9 in the morning. That's where they do their mating calls. The next one is the Angunopa turtles. The Angonopa turtle is part of the turtle family. There are two species in the turtle family, the turtle and the tortoise. The difference between them, the turtle are aquatic animals and the tortoise are land-based. They feed on grass, uh, any her their herbivorous animals. They feed on grass and small plants. The next one is this scary guy over here. It's called the gharial crocodile. Unlike any crocodile, this is the longest of all the species. It has a long, thin snout and it feeds on fish, so you're safe. The next one is the Asian elephant. The Asian elephant, there are two kinds of elephants, the Asian and the African. The African are larger than the Asian. The other distinctive marks is the Asian has smaller ears. Asian elephants are more useful to humans, especially in India, where they use this animal for logging 
and farming. So they bond along with human, unlike the African who lives by themselves in Africa. The next youth guy, the most beautiful animal in the world, the warthog. This warthog here belongs to the pig family. They are omnivorous, which means they eat everything, and I mean everything. The bongo. The bongo looks like a deer. A deer who accidentally sat on a newly painted bench. That's why it has a white stripe on its body. But actually, the bongo doesn't belong to the deer family. They belong to the bovine family, which means they are a family of cattle. The next one is the fastest cat in the world, the cheetah. The cheetah is endemic in Africa and Iran. That's why they're fast, because they are from Iran. They can run to a maximum of 80 miles per hour. So if you take them to the freeway, for sure they're going to get a speeding ticket. The next one is the African wild dogs. The African wild dogs belong to the canine family, which means they are a family of our domestic dog. They belong to a group and they live by a pack. That's what they call themselves pack animals. So they hunt in pack, they live in pack, and they are all pack animals. The next one is the black rhino. This, unfortunately, is one of the most endangered species. There is only a few of these remaining in the world. They're still trying to conserve this by breeding them, but as of now, there's no progress in that. That is because of the smuggling, poaching, and they're cutting the horns. Okay, the next one here. This cute looking guy here is called the orangutan. Orangutan is an ape that belongs to the primate family. They are the closest relative to human. The next one is the southern ground hornbill. It's a ground-dwelling hornbill that uh, thrives on mice, rodents, and other small animals. This is one of the carnivorous birds that lives in America. Mostly, they are found in Africa. Okay. The next one, this cute little guy here is called the fox. Fox belong to the canidae family, which means they are also canine. They belong to the family of dogs, but they are small. They, their diet is small rodents and small animals like birds and insects. The next one is a goat. It is a domestic breed. Goats help people by producing milk and meat. And that concludes our trick for today. Thank you for coming and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And this is your Captain Albert speaking. Thank you for coming. Goodbye.